best known for her work on Broadway and her time on The Voice, is Frenchie Davis. Oh. Back to the show. Yes, thank you for having me back. Uh, it's good. I haven't seen you guys since Essence Festival. I know. <laughs> so Wasn't that a fun amazing, time? An amazing you killed time. it on stage. Thank for us. you. What's been thank going you. on? Well, I just started working on a new play in New York. Oh, yay! <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. So excited about it. It's called awesome. The View Upstairs. Uh -huh. It's about the Upstairs Lounge, which was. Um, a nightclub in New Orleans in the 70s. Wow. Um, we open at the Lynn Red Grace Theater on Mardi Gras, February oh. 28th. Uh -huh. And it's a beautiful, beautiful piece about the power of community. Um, you know, we have the family that we're born into, and then we have the family that we choose. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's really about that, the power of having a safe space and having your own tribe, so to speak. I love that. Speaking of family you choose for yourself, I want to know about your love life. Uh, yes, do I you have an interesting title that you like to call yourself. Uh, well, on my, I think you're referring to my bio on social media where I refer to myself as bisexualent. Yes! <laughs> do tell. It's, it's a combination of freaking amazing and excellent yes. and also openly and proudly bisexual. Oh. And um, <laughs> thank you. We, I, I believe sometimes we're often um, are forgotten about, um, you know, they forget that there's a B in LGBT sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm definitely proudly repping Team B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where's the big yeah, yeah, it's it's fun. Fun. All right, but most yeah. importantly, Frenchie, are you ready for a little girl chat? Always. Yeah. All right, let's talk right. about it. <laughs> Up next is a story that has the entire nation talking. 18-year-old Kamaya Mobley was abducted from a Florida hospital in 1998 when she was just Crazy. eight hours old. This is insane. Wow. This story has kept me up. Police say a woman posing as a nurse stole Kamaya from her then 16-year-old mother. After years of searching, authorities finally found Kamaya last week living in South Carolina as Alexis Manigo. The woman who Kamaya called <laughs> mom for the last 18 years, Gloria Williams, was arrested on kidnapping charges. In a recent Good Morning America interview, Kamaya, now Alexis, shared her thoughts on what should happen to the woman who raised her. Check this out. From that one mistake, I was given the best life. I understand what she did was wrong, but just don't lock her up and throw away the key. You can't just say, oh, they did something wrong. Let me, you know, let me just forget about them and move on. It's not that easy. Even though she did what she did, I will always love her. Wow, that's her that's mama. So I mean, yeah, that's what crazy. she knows. Yeah. So you know? I, yeah, I'm sorry. I really yeah. am interested to hear how you ladies feel about this. Do you guys agree on what should happen to the woman who raised Kamaya? She should go to jail. <sighs> uh, yes. She should go to we jail. Have... I completely understand what Kamaya yes. is saying, and there's validity to it, and I completely empathize. But listen, when Child Protective Services goes into an abusive home and they take children out of abusive homes, those children leave crying, kicking, and screaming. Nobody wants to leave their mother. And I empathize with the maternal connection, but at the end of the day, there are ethics to be considered. What about... I mean, what about the, the biological mother who was robbed of the opportunity to, say, to yeah. raise her child? She's and still robbed, no, though. Exactly. Nobody, exactly. Yeah, nobody is that was your her. child that was taken She should away. go to jail. hundred percent. I absolutely agree that she should go to jail. I actually think altogether this is a lose-lose situation. It is. For everyone nobody involved. Yes. No one is getting peace. You know, sorry to say it, the person that is also going to be screwed for life is the child oh, yeah. yes. she's 18 years old and now she doesn't have any mother at all because as much as we as much as you want to say Jeannie if somebody told you today that lady over there is your mother you're not going to feel I doubt I don't think I would feel automatically some love struck connection and completely forget about Mama Mai? Well, of no course. one would expect you to but that doesn't change the law right that doesn't 100%. change right from wrong I'm just either. saying everyone is now going to somewhat well, be punished. Well, the 18 year old girl is being punished yes. for taking her mom away. And the kidnapper should have thought of that. Her move exactly. was a selfish move. But I will say this when you look at that interview, she actually. She actually did a great job raising that girl. Yes, she, yes. she's very eloquent. She's very well spoken. Exactly. She's very well spoken. But the thing is, still, what she did was 100%. wrong. But I'm this just thinking is the at thing. an 18 year old, are you mature right. enough? 
to not be selfish and not want your mom to be taken away from you. But this is the thing, too. You have to peel back the layers. And as you peel back the layers of this story, this woman reportedly was nine months pregnant and she had a miscarriage. So we need to provide more support yes. for women when they're going through something like this. Uh, not yeah, making this an excuse, true. Yes, absolutely. but if she wasn't getting the right mental health care after carrying a baby for nine months, then this probably led to her doing what she did. Right. So it's a lot of layers to People the come home with Absolutely. their babies and feel depression. I wonder, Imagine not coming yeah. home Listen, with your baby. I wonder if there's a way. Uh, I believe that this, the mother, the, the mother who, the kidnapper, should endure some consequences. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. We can't yes. just override that. Who cares if right. you yes. raise right. a young girl well? You did something that was absolutely maliciously wrong, and yeah. you have to and suffer from that. Yes. Yes. And at the same time, I actually agree with you. I think that the daughter, she won't know. We, we, there's no way to, for us to really check this, but I do worry that she's suffering from Stockholm Syndrome and has a different um, um, sympathy for her mom because that mm -hmm. was her mom for 18 years. So I wonder, though, we have to remember that the priority is Kamaya. It's her. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if the families can both join together and spend time together, like really spend time together to get to know uh, think, her mother know and that. how she's raised Kamaya. Because okay. here's what can happen. But she's going to be in jail, though. She, I believe they, that the, they, they right, her right, out. But <laughs> spend some time because I believe that, I really be, do believe this, I believe that the biological parents can figure out what the best punishment so that they feel that justice was served Listen, for them. And Kamaya's needs are met first and foremost. The biological parents concern. were robbed of 18 years. It's not their job to make it easy for the other woman. No, not yeah. for the other woman. Make it easy for the daughter. The daughter. Her half. Like the Bible story. Her half. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so there were two mothers in the Bible who claimed that a child was theirs. So King Solomon said to the two mothers, well, since you both claim you're the mother, I am going to split the baby in half. Guess what the real, the mother, real said. mother said? Heck no, give her to her. And that's when he knew that that was the real mother. Because guess what? When you love somebody, the love of a mother, the love of my mother would absolutely be to put me first. Like, I think that's easy to say. The love of a mother can also be ruthless. And if you kidnap my child, 18 years later, I'm not making it more convenient for you. Not for I'm you, sorry. for the child. I will, no, I that is the child. She, I, I will, listen. She don't know that lady. Wait, what would you think? What, what, Whose fault is that? Who's that thought woman, that she doesn't know that lady. She's an 18-year-old exactly. child. I understand but can we just, can we just talk about Kamaya for a second? Absolutely. When I watched the interview, I did see this. She is very self-aware. For 18, yes. she realizes that this situation right now is very overwhelming for her. Mm -hmm. She did say, you know what? I will always love, uh, what's her name again? Her, uh, her, her mom. mother. Her, her, mother. her, 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 her kidnapper She will always love her, her, Lonnie. <laughs> she will always love her kidnapper mom. But at the same time, she realizes that this I mean, is that's a very how you solve it. True. That's she my kidnapper that, mom, and this is my yes. biological mom. She realizes that this is an Accurate. overwhelming experience. But what she did say is, is I am willing to give my biological parents a chance. I would love to get to know them right. for 18 That's years. That's why I'm right. saying so, they great. should come together. I think they should I come together. I think time, that may be a possibility, but right now, no. Well, but, you, is... but you have to get over, sorry, but I just have to say this. There's a living, breathing 18-year-old who's mm -hmm. enduring all of this, and you have to be very careful because you could traumatize this young mind even more. To be, so to wait be a minute. So are we saying a that it, person? So we're saying that it's okay to kidnap babies? No, I'm no, saying the priority is Kamaya. I'm saying, saying, I'm saying, saying worry the about the priority. We're trying to think Kamaya. of the best solution However, for the child. However, child. But we're not, okay, we're all women, mm -hmm. okay? And you guys are asking this woman to just be like, well, because I love her, I'm going to just accept that this woman kidnapped my baby. No, no I'm, I'm not asking that. No, I'm asking. So whatever middle ground is going to be found, I don't think that's going to happen immediately. Jeannie, what are you saying? What I am your... saying give Kamaya the attention she deserves for right now to prioritize. She's at 18 years old. She's probably figuring out what to do with school, what to do with this attention, the counseling that it takes to now process what has happened to her. Focus on her first and do it together as a family. In that time, I... I swear that God will lay it upon both hearts of what is deserved for the kidnapper okay. and what the women, the mom and dad should do for Kamaya. And I like that, Jeannie, but the reality is we have laws. And so yeah. the law says that she has to go to jail, yes. and that's what she's going to do. But I understand that you're saying that yes. they have to, but we have to, because really what the kidnapper mom is being made an example of, because you cannot have people yes. thinking they can go into yes. the hospital 100%. and steal babies. Yes. That's 100%. not going to happen. Anymore. Right. I think and we all agree, agree that, that she should go to jail. And also, though, can we talk about the reality of what she did? This woman pretended to Dressed be up as a nurse. A nurse. Yes. Yes. 
Well, that was the father of the hospital. Befriended, befriended. That was the father the, of the hospital. The, the family. True, but also that tells you where her her mind her is as well. Exactly. Oh, she was it, it, she went into the room. It's reported she went into the room. She befriended so this her. Was thought they out. thought that she this was, was a relative. Out. See, this is the problem when y'all make assumptions because somebody black and another one black. Oh they my know, god! You supposed to have an ID or but, but no? Can I just say I, something I, first? Can I just say this? I'm very, this is I'm good. very, I am okay. very happy that this story ended with a good ending. Yes. yes. Now, what would we be saying? If it, did, if it didn't end up like no, this. Terrible. No, it would have been like a lot of right. other tragic, but this is the thing, too. Um, Kamaya, that's her name? Yes. She had that's a it. feeling, you know, it was an inkling, but she wouldn't, t she, she kind of felt like that wasn't her mother. But then it, it became factual when she tried to get a job, and she was like, I, you know, I need my birth certificate, you know? Mm. And the mama was like... That girl's smart, I'm telling you. And, and she was like, I need my birth certificate. And then that's how it came out. But she had previously, it had been reported that she felt like this woman was not her mother. But she was probably under the, the syndrome. And she felt so much love from her that, you know what, in the end, what's done in the dark is going to come to the light. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, always. always. And don't always. Make you I, know, I know this sounds like a really <laughs> odd question, but when you just said, what's her name, Kamaya, how do you think she feels about being called Kamaya. Alexis. Her name is Alexis. Wait a minute, which yeah. one is her real name? Alexis, Alexis is her real the biological name. Kidnapped mom named her what? Kamaya. No, 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 no. Her real name is, is Alexis. Alexis. Correct. So we're obviously discussing her as Kamaya. I'm, I'm just saying. But it, is Kamaya it, the name she grew up with? Yes. No, Alexis. She grew up she with is, the she, name Alexis. She knows herself. She answers to Alexis. Okay. We are all calling her the name Wait, that her six year old birth mother gave her, which is Kamaya. Right. So even those things are like, is that traumatic? Like everybody's talking about me. She as talked about that. She a said name. That. She yeah. said that in the interview. And it's, what did she say? She said it's overwhelming. Yes. She's trying to make sense of all of this, but I have to give her praise for doing it with grace. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. 18 year old. She's unreal. And being very respectful to both the parties. Absolutely. Yes, she is. And, and that means and we, that her mom was the birth. That's what I said. That's her mom did a, a good crazy. job. She just wrong for kidnapping her. Maybe she right? did. She needs to suffer the consequences. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Sure. I think Maybe we all can did. agree on we that. We can agree on Maybe that. Maybe what we're saying is, you know, there's obviously different levels of being incarcerated. There are people that, you know, are in private. What is that called? In so there are people that are in solitary, solitary. confinement yes. where they can't have visitors. No right. one can ever right. see them again. And again, Adrian, the yes. little girl said it perfectly. She said, I understand you have to lock her up. Right. But just don't throw away the key. Exactly. Yeah, that's what she was saying. She, and she there's can see still it from, that point of when women are going solitary. through this, they need to have they mental do. support. So yeah. I think that's it's a valid. lot of things. We're going to keep yeah, talking about this point. story. Yeah.